If you want your own signature program, but think you need an established business, a certain number of followers, or a big email list before that program will be a success, then this episode is for you. Today, we're going to hear from my client, Rachel Martin, who went from zero, literally zero, to having a successful beta launch of her signature program in under three months. Now, when I say zero, I mean zero, zero list, zero following, zero business. We'll hear how Rachel was able to start her business and build her program, even with another job and three children taking up her time, and how she was able to attract 20 new clients into her program, even with a tiny audience. Let's dive in. Hey there, I'm Sean Miner, and this is Unstuck Entrepreneur. I'm a former nutritionist who turned a struggling, stressful nutrition practice into a thriving, freedom-filled online business where I work from home in my sweatpants while reaching and helping thousands of people all at the same time. Now I'm obsessed with showing other heart-centered coaches, practitioners, and solopreneurs how to build a business and life they love. Consider this podcast your safe space to learn both the inner work and practical strategies required to build the impactful, profitable business of your dreams. No hustle, grind, or long hours required. That's right, hustle culture, not welcome here. Let's get into today's session. Hey, hey there, friends. Welcome back to Unstuck Entrepreneur. As always, thank you for checking out the show, for supporting the show, for tuning in today, and every episode that you choose to take part in means the world to me and to this show. Today, a special guest, one of my clients, in fact, and just someone I really wanted to bring on the show and share their story with you because I think a lot of you will really resonate with where she started, where she was at, and what she actually did to get to the point where she is now with a business, with a program, with 20 people going through her beta group right now. Just so much success, so much good happened in such a short period of time because of some really specific reasons that I want to make sure you all hear straight from the person that made it happen. Now, before we get into this conversation, which I'm so excited to share with you, wanted to clue you in on what's going on right now in case you want to join in. We have the Signature Program Bundle open for enrollment right this very moment, and I'm doing something I've never done before that I think is going to be a game changer for a lot of you. Not only do you get in on the Signature Program Lab and the Launch List Accelerator, my two primary programs specifically designed to not only create your program, but build a marketing and launch strategy that works behind the scenes so that you have people who are primed and ready to buy that program. This strategy, what I teach, what we go through together works seamlessly at any point of your business journey, whether you're starting out like Rachel was and you'll hear her story, or you've been in business for six months or a year or six years. This strategy works like a charm no matter where you're at in your business And it's just like the most beautiful, perfect combination of creating a business that works for you, kind of operates like a machine for you so that you can live your life, you can take care of yourself, you can take care of your loved ones, you can go on your summer vacations and still be building this thriving, successful, profitable business, doing what you love and helping the people you're meant to help. That is why the Signature Program Bundle is bundled the way that it is, but I added something even better for this particular round. If you get in now, and that is an accountability squad. Everyone who joins now will become part of this accountability squad that we will meet 
together once a month and kind of keep you on track, make sure your questions get answered, but also be a sounding board for each other and make sure you're doing the thing. Because what I have found is that building a signature program can be a lonely place. And it can be one of those things that even though you invest in a program and even though you have all the tools and everything you need to make it happen, you still put it on the back burner when you don't have accountability, when you don't have another person or more people, a group of people to answer to and to get feedback from and to really connect with. So if you join Signature Program Bundle today, you will automatically be put into the accountability squad where we will meet live every month, myself included. I will be there to make sure you're doing the thing and make sure you're doing the right thing and make sure your questions are answered and you feel good about where you're at. And also we will have a weekly check-ins, weekly check-ins in our group virtually because I want to keep up to date with what you're doing. So for the entire summer, the next three months, we will do it together. You will have the accountability that you need, the handholding, the cheerleading, whatever it is that you need to make this thing happen. Because you have all the tools. I will make sure of that. I have them all available for you in these two courses, but you won't have that piece that really moves the needle for you and gets you to the other side until you are part of this accountability squad. That is what's going on now. It is free. It is included in the bundle. Right now, I have a super amazing special deal that you cannot find anywhere else on the bundle. Essentially, you're getting Launch List Accelerator for free, plus you're getting an extra discount that you can only find if you go to seanminer.com slash bundle, seanminer.com slash bundle, you can grab the best deal you will find on the signature program bundle there, plus automatically get enrolled in the accountability squad so you can be part of a group of like-minded people doing this thing, building this business, building this program, launching it out into the world together. Cool, right? I'm super excited. Can't wait to connect with you all. Again, seanminer.com slash bundle. That offer ends June 30th, 2022. So you have a little bit of time, but make sure you get in if you want that accountability piece as well. All right, now let me do a proper introduction for our guest on the show today. Her name is Rachel Martin. She is a certified functional medicine nurse practitioner and teaches motivated people how to implement streamlined practical foundations for gut health and hormone health so they can feel energized, balanced, and have improved digestion. She is a mom of three, a wife, and has been a family nurse practitioner for the past six years. She loves reading books, laughing with her husband, dancing with her kids, getting in the sun, and her morning cup of matcha. All right, let's hear from Rachel. Rachel, thank you so much for coming on Unstuck Entrepreneur today. Yes, thank you for having me, Sean. I'm so excited. This is going to be super fun. I know we have so much to talk about, and there's just so much within your story that I think would apply to a lot of people listening today. And I know you were a listener prior to starting your business. And so it's all going to come full circle. But first, (laughs) tell everyone who you are and what you do. Um, So my name is Rachel Martin, and I'm a functional medicine nurse practitioner. I have root and ritual functional medicine, and I help busy professional people. My, my niche is mostly with, um, caregivers and service providers. You know, I take care of those who take care of others and I help them un you know, unwind their gut and hormone issues so that they can have energy, wake up feeling good and basically show up in a way that they feel proud of so they can serve others. Mm, so good. Now to give everyone some perspective, what was the first Like when did you officially start your business? Oh gosh. Um, I think it was the end of March, maybe like March, March 20 something of this year. 
Yeah. So end of March and we're now at the beginning of June. So a couple months ago, just to give everyone some perspective. Just like crazy to say. Crazy to say. Now tell everyone <laughs> uh, what were you doing before this and what kind of led up to you wanting your own business? So I um, started my journey. I'm a six years in family nurse practitioner. Okay. So about maybe five years ago, I was introduced to the concept of functional medicine, that there was a path for me to become certified in it and realized like, oh, I've already been interested in this for a few years. And now I have a name to it and I can learn more about it, treat myself. Cause that's how most people come to mm-hmm. functional medicine and, um, and then like implement it in family practice. And I've had several kids in between, you know, now and then. And, or then and now. And so I, um, realized over the past many years that it's impossible to do it in this 15 minute model. And I have, I think the, the quick version is my, my third child, you know, 10 days old, we end up in the hospital and the ICU. She's a big part of my story because I already loved functional medicine, but she was diagnosed with a rare genetic illness. And essentially she doesn't breathe when she sleeps. So we have, you know, for now she has a trach and a ventilator and I'm a caregiver at work and at home. Mm -hmm. And I realize I'm saying like, when I eventually went back to work part-time, I realized that I'm seeing the same people who are just like me. We have gut issues because we have chronic stress. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm seeing the same, you know, these moms, mostly moms or busy professionals, um, like really high achieving dads or other parents who have special needs kids perhaps, or, you know, kids with autism or anything like that, where even the mom, they might be, um, staying like a stay at home mom caring for their child. It doesn't matter the flavor it's they're burned out and they're putting themselves on the back burner using their kid as kind of an excuse to not take care of themselves instead of the reason to take care of themselves. Totally. And, and so they're getting these like kind of weird non-specific symptoms of fatigue and bloating and waking up feeling achy, but they're only like 35 and just kind of these symptoms. They can't put their finger on it, but they come in to see me and they're like, Rachel, I feel stressed and anxious, but I don't, I don't think my life is matching my symptoms and I'm trying to go to bed and work out and, you know, they're trying to do all the right things and they don't understand that there's this gut brain connection and they don't understand anything about cortisol. They don't understand anything about their gut. And I was saying the same thing over and over and over. And I kept saying like, I need to write this down. I need to like, and it honestly up until maybe four months ago, starting my own business was not even on my radar. I've had a mentor for years and I just kind of assumed that I was going to work with him. So after, you know, in December of 2021, I finished, I pushed through with, at that point, my daughter Parker is a year old and I'm just like, I'm finishing my certification. I've been working on this. I'm finishing, finished in December, approached him in like, you know, January. Okay. I'm, I'm finished. I'm certified. Like, can I come work with you now? And he's like, I don't have room for you. And then the whole idea of like, well, maybe I can do this on my own came up. And then by way of another friend, who's a nurse practitioner, she introduced me to the concept of like group programs and a course. And like, then I realized I can't do this on my own. I try, I tried like looking up things for a few weeks and then you really get in the weeds. Like I know how, I know how to get you from A to B, but I don't know how to like turn that into lessons. I don't know how to structure things and Lord, like, I don't know how to start a business. I was always in a practice where they marketed for me. They did everything. So I, I think I manifested you, Sean. I know I've like said that to you before, but I I think I found you on Instagram. Maybe I don't really care for Facebook, but I think I found you on Instagram and, and it was just this beautiful, like meeting of the minds where you were speaking to like, not, not overworking, not being burned out. It, It was the, the business. If I, if years ago I would have thought, oh, if I own my own business, it will be X, Y, and Z. It was exactly what 
you were talking about. And I just needed someone to say, do this, do this, do this. Mm -hmm. And so the, the first thing I did was sign up for holistic business starter. And that was very much like, do this, do this, Mm -hmm. do this. And then I started doing my own. I remember messaging you like, okay, I'm trying to start my own course, but I don't really know. And I ultimately was like, just signature program lab, sign me up because I can't, mm-hmm. I can't, you've done this. You've done what a dozen times mm-hmm. yeah. and, and you need, it's, it's just like, I kept reframing it. A patient will try to heal their gut on their own and they're going to read books, right? They're going to like follow Dr. Hyman on Instagram yep. and they're going to buy books on healing your gut. And it just, it, it's like, okay, how will I tell people? invest in me to show you the way if I don't invest in myself for somebody to show me the way. Mm, Oh, that's such a good point. It it was very backwards. And then, and somewhere along the way, I had the other realization of like, it's not, I'll find the money and then hire a business coach. It's I'm going to hire a business coach. So then I can make money and not just have a hobby. I'll actually have a business. Yeah. So, and that's what you need to do in order to make the money to have the business, right, you know, right, it's like this right. cycle. It is, it is a cycle. And it's, it's, you know, I say people will come, Oh, I want to lose weight. It's like, you don't lose weight and then get healthy. You get healthy and weight loss is a byproduct of that. Right. right. So it, yeah, I mean, it was all mindset. Mm-hmm. So, and I mean, the first part of holistic business starter is all mindset and things that I, I, I had no idea all these money blocks that I had no idea. Yeah. I remember when you were in the group and you were saying, I didn't realize I was signing up to get a therapist too. (laughs) Right. Because as I've been in this journey of becoming an entrepreneur or solopreneur, I like to say that word too. (laughs) Um, it, it does the, the best therapy for you is to start your own business. Oh my gosh. It brings up everything, everything, every insecurity, and you have to address it. You can't, I mean, to a degree, there is an imposter syndrome that you have to overcome, but the confidence that you get in three months, I have like, sometimes when I'm feeling down on myself, I have to list it all out. Like I've started a website. I've recorded three podcasts, which has yet to be launched, but should in the next few weeks, I have created a program that's in the beta testing. I've started seeing 10 patients and like I had one apply on Friday, one apply yesterday. It's crazy. Even the tech that I've was so overwhelming and terrifying, but you do an amazing job of screen sharing and walking people through. I mean, that just the, the tech handholding alone for creating a course and creating a website or anything like that has been invaluable, but yeah, it's been a really, um, conf- it's been a confidence builder for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. As soon as you get over all of the fear, the doubt, the uncertainty, like what's going to happen, what I'm going to do. I mean, we can stay. And I think a lot of people do stay in that headspace for so long. And they don't realize that the second you just do it, like you do it scared, you do it with uncertainty, you do it with the fear on the other side of that, as soon as you do it, then you do have that confidence and you do mm-hmm. have that clarity and all of that is just built up, but it's just on the other side of you taking that leap. And Rachel, to see you go through all of that stuff, like you, it's not like you weren't scared. It's not like you weren't. Oh, I'm still scared. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, It's not like you didn't have those things, but you did it all anyway. And you were like, this is what I want to do. This is how I want my business to look. I'm going to like, yes, I have three kids and I have a super busy life and you are working part-time still. You were doing a ton of stuff and you still made time to make your business happen in three months. Like that was huge for me to see you go through because you wanted it. And you Mm -hmm. weren't going to let all of that stop you. And I I will say full disclosure, I, we had a nurse for a year who was our, you know, daytime nurse. My, my child will eventually switch to a a face mask and she'll just, she's fine when she's awake. But for now with a trach, you can't just send that kid to daycare. So she has a nurse with her. Well, the nurse, as I'm like 
launch creating this business, she puts in her four week notice and she's just like, I love, I love Parker, but she, I feel like I'm not, I'm not nerd. I'm not being a nurse because she, really she just needs a nanny. She's fine when she's awake. She just needs help. Like, you know, getting hooked up to take her nap. And that terrified me. And I really think I, I might've dawdled. I, I probably would have pushed everything out. And that really lit a fire of, okay, I'm rolling this out. It's not going to be perfect, but I, I don't know. I feel like the universe was just like, she needs a deadline. So mm-hmm. I think that's, that's huge picking a time frame and sticking with it and being like, it's going to be messy. It's you're not going to have everything figured out. I still, I'm still changing things. So I'm a still working in family practice two days a week and for the foreseeable future, uh, <laughs> wink, wink. And I basically have assigned two or three days, which we've secured another nurse, obviously, um, cause I'm able to do this, but I have two or three other days where I work on the business. And I think like, even now I'm switching my electronic medical record because I picked one. You just have to pick something and then you figure out if you like it or if you don't. And I'm adapting things and changing things, not all the time, but improving upon and adapting. And I think it's really easy to be overwhelmed in, you know, Asana versus Trello, Kartra versus Kajabi, active campaign, and all these things. I never even knew what they were or what they meant, you know, four months ago. Um, But I think just picking something and sticking with it until you know, and giving it several months until you decide is this working for me or is this not but i feel like with your program you did a really good job of maybe giving like your few choice options and taking some of that decision fatigue out i think really easy to get decision fatigue when you're doing just even deciding on the softwares without any guidance could take you like five years. <laughs> right. I, I'm ashamed to say my husband one time, early on the first few weeks, he was he, at some point he was like, are you still looking at colors? And I was like, yes, I'm ashamed to say. And, and it's funny because in hindsight, nobody cares. No, like nobody cares, but it's your baby. So you care. Yes. So um, but really it doesn't matter. Like the, so it's the big things. And I think, cause you asked me maybe in a coaching call one time, like how, how did you, how have you moved things along so quickly? And I think it's because, well, I don't even know where I saw this or read this, but I've gotten really um, into time management and, and strategy and planning my day out because I don't have very many hours, I'm limited on when I can get this stuff done, planning my day out the night before and asking myself the question of what is truly going to move the needle? Like, right. Are you, are you just plan? Cause I will be, I'm the queen of planning to do and not doing. And you have said that before and it stuck with me and resonated with me. And so it was very much like, no, just do something and then see if it works. So, so that's what I did. I was like, okay, a newsletter, writing it, done. Like it, it's not going to be perfect. I'm probably accidentally sending it to everybody, even if they're like in the middle of the nurture sequence, but it's fine. I'm going to like do it anyway. And making a blog, like publishing a blog post and um, creating the slides. I mean, it is ridiculous how long I spent just coming up with like picking in Canva, which can really be overwhelming the perfect like slide templates for the course and none of that matters if I can give anyone advice it's probably set a timer like 15 minutes for little tasks of okay in the next hour I'm picking I think you told me that Mm -hmm. (laughs) and one of the coach like like pick a timer be like okay I'm picking my fonts in the next 30 minutes because it doesn't, it, it matters, but it doesn't matter that much. Yeah. It shouldn't take days by any means, because that's not moving the needle. And if you really look at, like you said, what is, what in this limited amount of time that I have, what will actually move the needle? Will actually get my work in front of more people? Will actually make some income? What do I really need to do? Yeah. Like make a freebie, just make a freebie, just sit down for two hours and make a freebie. Yeah, right? exactly. Speaking of freebie. So I want to talk a little bit, cause like we mentioned, you started your business basically three months ago, and this is not one of those things where it's like, you already had this massive following and you were already showing up on Instagram and doing all this business stuff. 
off, you just didn't t- technically have a business. You were literally starting from zero. You didn't have an email list. Your Instagram was like your kind of personal account, right? So this is not one of those stories. This is legitimately starting from scratch. Right. And, and, and I, <laughs> And I had been off of Instagram for like eight months when, when we came home from the hospital with Parker, when she was maybe two and a half months old, I went like, I went dark. I got off. Oh, I'd been off Facebook forever, but I got off of Instagram for about eight months. And so I'd only been occasionally posting for like two months. And yeah, I had maybe, I want to say, so I've started tracking it, maybe 650 followers. And I switched to a professional account um, for the insights and tracking. And I started posting, but again, there, there's strategy. Now there was no strategy then it was just posting things. Right. And I lost some followers probably because they were like, Oh, somebody else posting about food and health. And that's fine. Like, but a lot of my family, it's, it's my grandma's both post, they like comment on my Instagram Aww, post. That's so nice. Which, but part of I mean, part of my desire is to show functional medicine in real life when you have, you know, you're a working mom with three kids and one with that has some extra needs to show like, this is what I'm eating. This is how I'm, you know, practicing mindfulness or working out, or this is what is important. And to kind of live that and show this is a family affair, not just me, you know, posting these concepts without living them. So yeah, I had nothing, but I had nothing. Like I, I didn't know what lead magnet meant. (laughs) I Googled it. I was like, what is lead nurture? What? Like, I don't zero marketing, zero anything. And that's why it it's cute. The Rachel four months ago, who thought she could do all this with, I don't know. I don't know, like Googling or like asking my friend who is two years into it and has spent a lot of money on business coaching too. And it's like, yes, she wants to help me, but she can't, she doesn't have the time to sit down and explain an email list or, you know, how, how you attract people and then get them to know, like, and trust you. Because (laughs) the funny part about functional medicine is people don't really know what it is. Most people don't know what it is. So Mm -hmm. I'm marketing something that people don't understand. And then I can't guarantee them results because I can't do the work for them. So how, (laughs) right. So the marketing aspect of it is very tricky and getting, and I know we, you talked about that and you know, you have to show them the outcome because if you talk about just hormone problems or Got, like, what does that mean? People, you need to speak in their language. That is so important. That was a huge hump for me mm-hmm. to, to speak in the ways that people speak when they come to me. Like they'll say, I feel tired. I'm exhausted. I require caffeine to wake up and I need wine to wind down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, and my hair is falling out and I don't want to have sex anymore. And that, Can I say that? (laughs) Yes, absolutely. Okay. (laughs) But that's huge. Like, that's huge. It was really, um, I guess it's made me even more effective in, in, as a family nurse practitioner, when I see people. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. I can believe that for sure. Just knowing how to talk to these people who really the people you're seeing at your job are also potentially clients of yours on the outside and your business and just getting that practice, you know, in both places is so beneficial. So now, like you've mentioned, you have this program that you're running and it is a group program. And that's really how you kind of kicked Mm -hmm. off your Mm -hmm. business, right? So tell people what that looked like, that process of building your program, which I know you kind of are doing it as Mm -hmm. you go, which you're finding beneficial. So talk a little bit about that. Yes. So I decided I was going to do a kind of, I've, I've framed out everything for my 12 week program. And for those of you who don't know anything about functional medicine, you know, the, the mantra is definitely like all disease begins in the gut, start in the gut when in doubt. And there's a five R framework for step-by-step how to heal someone's gut. And I've always found it ironic that the fifth step is 
addressing the gut brain connection and that, um, your cortisol and stress hormones, essentially the, the relationship between stress and your gut, it's at the very end. And I found, I I would try to get people, you know, as in, whenever I was just regular family practice, try to get people on board with an elimination diet. And we're going to do all these things. And they're so in the weeds that they can't even wrap their head around getting started. So in my method, I put that at the beginning and we, it's just like five weeks of, well, the first part of it is habit and mindset. And I took that from you. I was like, as I'm going along, I realized you have to talk about mindset. You have to talk about how to have good habits so that you can do this program once. I don't want people to have to do mm-hmm. it 15 times. Like you can, you get lifetime access, but no, you don't need to do it 15. You don't need 15 elimination diets. So it's, it's very much front end loading to, to calm down the nervous system to, you know, get your thyroid working again, decrease your cortisol, and then work on the elimination diet and healing the gut. So I decided I would do, um, kind of your hybrid model of getting everything framed out and filming the first lessons. And then as we go through it, I will continue. So I still have like in the next two weeks, I should have everything filmed and, um, and then uploaded. And I've already, it's funny. I've already decided a whole module. I'm, I'm like redoing the entire thing. And I've shared that with my beta group too, of like, I, I was trying to appeal to everyone instead of just speaking to, you know, quote unquote, adrenal fatigue. And that is really what those are the people who are coming to me. They have cortisol issues Mm -hmm. that has led to them having gut issues. So I was trying to like, just cater to too many people, but to anyone making a program who's out there, you just don't know what's going to work or what doesn't until you do it. And then you get feedback. Mm -hmm. And that's the beautiful part about a, a beta group. They it's discounted. So they don't feel like they're, they're getting value. They know they're getting value. And then they're kind of part of the experiment and the fun of everything of being like, do you like this? Do you not like this? And everyone has been so gracious. That was probably one of my big fears of, am I going to, I'm a recovering people pleaser and it's, are people going to be mad if I change things? But I found like, even yesterday in my coaching call, it was what do you guys think? This is what I want to do. And I walked through the new framework for them and they were like, that, that makes a lot of sense. And I it's because you guys had a lot of questions on Facebook and I realized it wasn't clear. And I mean, even another thing I've realized my, some of my lessons are like 20, 25 minutes long. That's too much. I need to like chunk it up into smaller lessons, but you just don't, it's fine. You can go and change all of the things eventually but just get something out into the world. Yeah. So you, just to clarify, so you did, you've framed it all out. You had everything Mm -hmm. planned out. You knew what you wanted your program to Mm -hmm. include. You recorded a few of those first lessons and then you launched it. So the entire thing was not created. No. And that's like, in hindsight, um, that's frightening, but you know, the beauty of it was already with the first few modules of being like, man, I think people are dropping off with these 20, 25 minute lessons of, okay, I still have a few more modules to record. I know now I'm going to record those the way they should have been done in the beginning and like chunk them into, you know, seven, eight minute lessons. So then I don't have to redo those. If I would have done the entire program, the way I did the first few modules, I would have to redo the whole thing. Now I'm only going to have to redo a few mm-hmm. of them. Yeah. So that's the benefit. Like while it seems scary and you're like, what am I doing? I know you're kind of freaking out a little bit when you're like, okay, I have people who actually signed up and now I, now I don't <laughs> no. have like this entire program laid out, but now you're seeing how beneficial it is. And you're able to take the feedback you're getting every single week from these people to make it really great for them too, you mm-hmm. know, ahead of time. And to make it what you actually want it to be. I think my favorite thing so far. So I love, I love the coaching calls They're Right now they're once a month, which is, which is fine. I think I want to do every two weeks. It's just, 
I love, I love them. And it's just, um, I think they really enjoy talking to one another too, but my favorite has been watching people in the Facebook group talk to one another. Yes. Cause then you realize this is taken on a life of its own and it's greater than me. And I think that's what I, I never knew. I always wanted in family practice. I wanted to support people to support one another and to make this like like-minded community. I, the, it's just still mind boggling to me that the Facebook group, like they will like tag one another and speak to one another. And I mean, right now we are all in, in Virginia. Um, well, I think, I think I have like one person in Ohio, but your first group is usually people, you know, mm-hmm. who are supporting you, uh, which is great and fine, but I don't know the fact that it's bigger than me already is so cool. And that's why I love signature pro having a signature program so much is because it is bigger than you and you are building a community for other people to have support from other people, not just you, but like, and we all know, cause we probably, I'm assuming everyone listening has had some sort of health or wellness concern in their life. And you feel really alone. Like mm-hmm. if, if your family isn't going through it or your friends aren't going through it, you're like, oh my gosh, who do I talk to? Where do I turn? And to be in this group of people who are experiencing something similar and going through this process together, it is invaluable and it is bigger than you. You are the conduit to get people into building right. that community for them to have forever. So they will continue to build these relationships even after your program is done, you know, as, as, mm-hmm. as it goes. So it's so cool. I'm so glad you're seeing that too. And this brings me to what I wanted to talk about too, which is the size of your program and how the launch went and how you got people in. Because like we just said, you were starting pretty much from zero. So mm-hmm. I think that's a big concern is when people say they want their business, they want to uh, have a program, but what if no one signs up? Like who's going to be in this program? I don't have this massive audience. I don't have an email list yet. So what happened? How did your launch go? And how did you get these people in? And what was the end result? So I like followed your advice and I started just with, um, I created, but like, as I knew I wanted to launch around the state, maybe four weeks before I was like, okay, I need an email list. So I started with, um, a lead magnet. I created a a probiotics and prebiotics guide. I posted about it on Instagram to get some followers and, that link tree thing mm-hmm. is free. So I, I got mm-hmm. one like link in my bio kind mm-hmm. of thing. And, um, I started attracting people that way. And then I got my family to kind of share about that. I, I was just straight up with people. It's funny. My photographer is kind of a friend and like, she was sharing on her Instagram about the, the guide and, and there's nothing wrong with asking for help in the beginning of like, Hey, mom share about my guide. It's, you know, to get on the email list. And I, I decided, cause I know I asked you, like, I'm not, I do not have time. I'm going to do this differently next time. But I was like, I, I don't want to do, I think I have enough of an audience to not do any kind of live webinar, live event or pre-recorded. I'm just going to send a newsletter and like an email sequence and then post on Instagram basically for my launch, there will be no kind of event or anything. And I ended up doing it that way. I had my, my husband, God love him. I was like, please share on Facebook. Cause he has a lot of friends. He was born and raised here. And so one of his high school friends signed up for the program and, um, I recruited like one or two of our nurses to sign up. And it, it just, I had, um, 10 people sign up, but I, I also, decided, which I, I will say this is a mistake. I should not have done it because it was so overwhelming. I decided to also start seeing one-on-one clients at the same time I was launching my program. And I, that was part of my, um, my offering. You also get to be in this program. So I have 20 people in it, 10 of which are one-on-one, 
um, functional medicine patients, and then 10 are just in the group. So I would say, don't do that. If you're considering it and you just started your business two months ago, <laughs> um, that's a bit much. Uh, but, um, so it's nice because there's 20 people in there, but I think 10 would have been fine. Yeah. For your beta group. And you, you can find 10, like that's easy. Like you can find 10. Oh, absolutely. And you don't need, you don't need a big following. Um, I think the important thing is showing people c- connecting what their symptoms are with what's going on and what could be their possible future if they go through your program. Look at you talking about all this messaging talk. <laughs> wow. What this is amazing. You learned well. Well, oh, thank you. Thank you. I had a great te- I have a great teacher. Um, <laughs> but it's cuz it's funny. I think one of my big one of my big humps is just, I'm, I did not feel like I was a business person. I didn't know anything about marketing, but I'm like, Rachel, you, for years, you've been practicing functional medicine. You know, that take away all these imposter syndrome feelings. You have people that you have helped already. What are you good at? And I'm really good at telling women and men sort of, I don't want to like pigeonhole myself with just you know, I considered it, but I was like, but it is mostly women that you are putting yourself last. And because of that, you feel terrible. And this is why, and this is why you need my help. And I was like, it, I'm great at helping people deal with adrenal fatigue and heal their gut. And I have like proven success. So get out of your head about websites and social media and marketing. You will figure that out, but you have it a message. And I think I read somewhere, the longer that you don't put your program out there, you're really, there are people you're not taking care of that you Mm -hmm. could be serving and you could be helping those people and you could be changing their lives. So then they show up better for the person or people they're caring for. So it was kind of that. It was kind of like, you're being selfish if you don't do this. <laughs> it, I mean, it's true. It is true because you have the ability. There are people out there right now that need mm-hmm. your help. You have the ability to help them. And by you not putting yourself out there for fear of what might go wrong or what you might look like, or people might judge you or whatever we're saying mm-hmm. in our heads, then those people are still out there looking for the help that you can give them. So when you put it into that perspective, and we're all helpers, we all want to serve Mm -hmm. people and really bring that to light, then it just takes on a whole new meaning. And you, you realize that the business part really doesn't matter that much, you know, like you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. You figure it out on the way. So one thing that you said that I really want to reiterate and make sure people understood is that when it came time for you to launch your business, And you started by way of the beta group of this program and also taking one-on-one clients that would be a part of that beta group, which I think is great. I think, you know, like you said, it's a little overwhelming, maybe like making the numbers, not so many or or separating them a little bit, but. Well, there was definitely hustle culture right there. (laughs) So maybe spreading them out a little bit or, or trying something different would work. But when it came time, you build your audience by way of the people you already knew your network, 100%. Your, your family, your friends. Hey, will you shout this out for me on your social media? Hey, will you talk to your friends about this? Like, that's the cool thing about what we do, especially in the wellness world is that everyone needs what we do, or they mm-hmm. know someone who needs what we do. So building your network, building your audience is actually quite easy. If you're willing to use the people that you already know and get that out there. And then, like you said, it is easy to find those 10 people that can be your first group. You don't want to have a big group as your first group anyway, because you're doing all of this. Um, You're kind of figuring things out. You want to get their feedback. You want them to have a strong connection with each other. So it's good to have a small group and you can get those people no matter what size you're starting at right now. So someone in your network can build that relationship for you or help you to get those 10 people in. So I just wanted to make sure that that was pointed out that, yeah, you talk to your photographer, who is your friend, you um, had your mom talk about it. You had your husband talk about it and it worked. Your people, they want you to be successful. Yeah, right. <laughs> and and they see how much joy it brings you. And that's infectious. That's contagious. Mm-hmm. So I just, um, I'm so happy that I, 
decided to do it. And, and I think one of my, and I, I didn't even, if some things bounce around in your head and you don't necessarily put words to them until later, but one of my, for years, initial, like (laughs) things that bothered me about functional medicine, it seemed really expensive and inaccessible. A signature program helps you like, and that's one of my core values. I want people need this and money shouldn't be this, this big hurdle, but in this way, I can help people without seeing them Mm one-on-one and it's more accessible to the masses. And and you're kind of, you're teaching them how to fish, so to speak, and not making them feel like they need you to get better one-on-one. Right. Because you're, you're putting them in and, and you understand this from all of the programs you've done. If you're trying to, in the 21st century, lead a healthy lifestyle, you're kind of a rebel. So to put these people together in a community is huge because it's not just every once a month when they see me or once every three months when they see me, it's, they have their community that they can go to at all times, which I don't know. I just feel like, I I guess one of my core values is, you know, affordable functional medicine. Having a group program is a way to kind of feel like you're helping people, um, And you don't have to apologize for charging because these are not astronomical fees Mm -hmm. that that you're, you know, asking for, you're being compensated for your time and your energy, but it's really cool because once it's done, then the automations are there and you can show up, you know, every two weeks or once a week, if that's something you want, or once a month and then monitor your Facebook group. And I want to see patients one-on-one still, but that's the beautiful thing. My life with the little kids and the, you know, I'm at the mercy of, do we have a nurse or not? This program has allowed me to still, I cannot multiply myself. I am just me and me just seeing, like I have a cap on how many people I can see one-on-one. So in this way, I can still share my gifts with the world. Mm -hmm. So anybody who has a busy lifestyle and they keep using that as an excuse for why they can't do what they love. No, you can. You just have to think outside the box. Totally. And do a signature program, obviously. And it, it, like you said, it's beneficial for everyone. It's beneficial for the people going through it. It makes it more accessible. It makes them feel more empowered in their own journey because they're learning instead of just relying on you. And it gives you back the time and the freedom that you need to be able to live mm-hmm. your life. And then you can be more choosy. I don't want to say, I don't know what the right word is, but, uh, with the clients that you do take one-on-one and you can keep it at a cap. You can work with the people that really, truly do need your one-on-one services and support and leave the, the group program for those that maybe are just getting started or, you know, have some not as high needs, I guess, uh, to do the program. So it really works out so well for everybody. Yeah. And I'm thinking that I might, um, (laughs) I'm thinking I might like require the program if you want to work with me. Okay. But this is my foundational method that I'm going to do anyway. And instead of me, you know, saying it 15 million times, that's literally why I've recorded it. You funnel in. And then the beauty of the Facebook group and the group calls is that eventually you'll have people who have completed it and they just want the accountability and they're going to encourage and inspire the new people who are just beginning, who are overwhelmed. So they get to see like, like even, okay. In your coaching calls, me with you seeing all these people in who had already started their own businesses, who were already being successful, inspired me to take action because Mm -hmm. if it was just me and you or me watching your videos, yeah, I'm inspired, but not nearly to the degree as when you get all these like-minded people on a live call, that's like completely other next level. And it's one hour of somebody's time. Yes, exactly. And it is, again, that community piece that you just can't get in a one-on-one setting and you can't get with just a hands-off DIY course either. You have to have that middle ground. And that's why I love it. And obviously you're now an advocate too. I'm I'm addicted. (laughs) I'm addicted. (laughs) Speaking of what are your plans now? This group is still kind of in the middle, but what do you foresee happening with your group program in the future? So in July, I think the beginning of July, I want to launch again, open to the public because I have 
still like one-on-ones. I haven't decided how, if I want to launch, you know, quarterly or do evergreen, I'm still bouncing things kind of around in my, in my head, but I know I like the structure of the 12 weeks. I love the Facebook group and I, I really like, I think I'm going to start offering unstructured open office hours for, um, like where I teach for 30 minutes about different topics within the course. So it's, it's fun because once you have your, your kind of structure, your house in place, you can decorate your house however you want. (laughs) Yeah. It's so true. So it's like once you just, but you have to have your, your little house, your, your core, your program, and then you can add different things. I'm considering a kind of membership with my program for additional offerings, like having a health coach once a month, come on and do a coaching call as well. And, and kind of build from there, like almost like offerings at the gym or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. I love it. I'm just so your success and how you really took your idea and went with it and you just made it happen and you wanted it to be perfect, but you're like, this isn't going to happen. So I'm just going to put it out anyway. Uh, I love everything that you've done. I'm so proud of you. I think it's just been so cool to watch. What final piece of advice do you have for anyone listening who maybe is just starting their business or maybe has been in their business for a little while and it's not going the way they want? What do you, do you have anything to offer? Yeah, I think I have like two pieces of advice. So the first is just like, remember, this is fun. It's fun learning new things. It's fun having beginner's mind. And I think it's important to learn the back end of every single thing. So if you have zero help, you still know how to do all the things, but I just made it fun. And I think you, you helped make it fun with the videos and it was interactive and there were worksheets. I think, keep it light, keep it fun, keep it light. And my second piece of advice, establish boundaries for time. I wasn't good at that. And, and it was really bad there for a little while with me pushing and pushing and like working all the time. And I realized I am not beginning with the end in mind the, because the business that I want is not what I'm doing right now. And I will accidentally become a workaholic. And then I'm missing the whole point. What I'm working for, I'm like, I'm missing the entire point. So I would say pick a, a date that you want to launch or get things going, but like write that date down in pencil because things might come up. And if you know, if you realize that you're not spending as much time with the people you love, or you're not pouring into yourself and you're getting kind of burned out, then be a little bit flex, more flexible and adaptable because isn't that what you would tell your, your person that you're trying to help? Totally. Yes. Take your own advice. Yeah. Take your own advice. So I would say like, keep it fun and keep it light, but have, you know, some, some parameters you're working within. So true. Yes. That's so helpful. And it is, I'm so glad you brought up to keep it fun because it is fun and it should be fun. fun. And we can really get bogged down with all the business stuff and that makes it not fun a lot of times, but if you get back to like what you said, just do something, just start somewhere, just put it out and figure it out on your way, on the way, let it be messy and let it be a learning experience. Then it can be fun again. And that's what I think is the best. So, like, it's not even a chore. It's just, it's, there's so many things you want to do. You got to pick one thing to do, but oh, it's, I've had a blast which is crazy. Cause I, I remember years ago, like hating going to work. So this is like so different, yes. so different, oh, so different. And it's so much better. Oh, I'm so, so yes. happy for you, Rachel. Thank you so much for coming Thank on you. and sharing. Where can people learn more about you and your business and what you do and follow along? Yeah. So I am at www.rootandritualfxmed.com. And then on Instagram, same thing at root and ritual FX med. Cool. All right. Great. And you have a podcast coming out soon. I do gut vibes only <laughs> love it. So <laughs> cute. So cute. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much for your time and for sharing everything that you learned along the way. And we will stay caught up with everything you're doing in your business as well. So thanks, Rachel. Thank you, Sean. 
Hey friend, real quick before you go, don't forget to head over to my website and take the quiz to find out your solopreneur personality type. I've created a super fun, super informative two minute quiz that will show you which one of the four solopreneur personality types you fall into. Could it be the boss, the socialite, the visionary, or the supporter? Which one are you? Not only is it just fun to know more about yourself, especially as it relates to your business, but it's also really important information so you can be sure that you're building a business that works for you based on your energy, your personality, and your desires. Did you ever take those quizzes from the Cosmopolitan magazine back in the day? It's kind of like that, but with actual solid questions and real helpful tips and advice at the end. You can find the What's Your Solopreneur Personality Type quiz right on the homepage of my website at seanminer.com. Head there now to take the quiz, then let me know over on Instagram at Unstuck Entrepreneur what your type is. I'll see you over there.